morning, everybody. My name is Hannah Rafi. I am a third year undergrad student here at UIC. I am a graphic design major, fine arts minor. I am one of the artists in residence for the Global Asian Studies Department, and I like cats. I have been doing this internship since fall of 2018, and now it is spring 2020. So it has been four semesters. For the last four semesters, I have been working on a book in my internship called Faces of Glass, and I have finally finished it. So yeah, let me just explain Faces of Glass real quick if you don't know what it is. So I interviewed um, eight different alumni that includes Lillian, Patrick, Crystal, um, you might know some of these names and faces, um, Elena, Ada, Teresa, Kavya, and Shukri, and talk about how the GLASS program had changed their view on Global Asians and Asian America. So yeah, and so part of the reason why it's been such a long process is that I spent the first semester um, in fall 2018 just interviewing all of the alumni. I even continued interviews into spring. And then I spent fall 2018, spring 2019, and fall 2019 um, illustrating um, stories that I got from these interviews. I um, picked out parts of the interviews um, that I thought really showed the students' growth in the GLASS program. I spent all of this semester then um, doing the design layout of the book and also doing the general writing. There's a lot less art this semester and a lot more of designing and writing. It's been a long process, honestly, and I'm so excited to show you guys um, how the book looks. Because of quarantine, unfortunately, the book will not be printed and distributed at uh, the 2020 Glass of Palooza. So as I go through this video, um, I'm going to be showing like examples um, from the book right over here. So definitely some skills that I utilized in this internship and had to improve upon were um, communication skills. I had to reach out to people through email or phone call um, and schedule interviews with them. I know that some people felt that their experiences are not really that interesting or anything, but I think that through the stories that they tell me, I can personally see um, how they grew through the program and grew through the classes and how their worldviews have changed. I also got to improve on communication skills with Dr. Ana Guevara, who is the head of the GLASS department and also my internship supervisor. Some knowledge that I used from GLASS 105 definitely included learning about the student movements, specifically the student movement that um, started the Global Asian Studies program at UIC, especially since when I interviewed some people, um, I found out that some of the alumni had actually been a part of the movement to form GLASS. Well, I think that it's actually going to really benefit the Asian American community here at UIC. I think that it definitely brings awareness of the Global Asian Studies Department. It really shows that you don't have to be Asian or Asian American to be interested in Global Asian Studies. Some of the people that I interviewed did not even identify as Asian or Asian American, and through my interviews with them, I got to see how they used their identity to make some sort of connection with Global Asian Studies. I learned a lot about race relations and how they connect to communities here in Chicago and how learning about GLASS can actually be really eye-opening for someone who isn't a part of that world or has no connection with it. So definitely entering this internship, I thought that I thought that I would be using a lot of like my older skills in art. It just kind of felt like, you know, I was just doing what I usually do. On the contrary, I actually learned a lot of skills that are going to benefit my career in graphic design, even though it's an artist in residence um, position. I decided to bring graphic design and art together. The paintings are all originally watercolor paintings, but then what I did with them was that I scanned them and I vectorized them on Adobe Illustrator. If you don't know what vectorizing is, vectorizing is um, turning each color into shapes that are made with vectors so that you can blow them up um, when you print them out or view them on a computer and they won't get pixelated or anything. One of the benefits of vectorizing the watercolor paintings was that I could manipulate the colors, I could change it, I could also make the colors a lot more bold, especially since when you scan something, especially a watercolor painting, it can get kind of washed out. Being able to do a book, I was able to design a book layout for Faces of Glass, which was actually really relevant to my graphic design classes. Uh, I have been taking typography classes in my major, which include 
layouts in books and stuff and it was really good to have a separate project outside of my design classes in which I got to practice those typography skills. So I had always felt sort of out of place in graphic design because it wasn't my first choice major. If it were up to me I would be an artist for the rest of my life or a paleontologist. I used to feel like an outsider but now I feel like part of the community. I definitely think that through this internship experience, I grew uh, professionally um, and also personally. I, I feel definitely a lot more confident in my skills. It was also great in this internship experience to be able to start a project on my own, do the whole thing pretty much by myself with some help from the glass faculty. I conducted the interviews. I got all the information. I did all of the paintings. I manipulated them digitally myself. I also designed the layout. I am just super excited to have been there from start to finish and so I, I honestly feel that if I walk into any sort of artist or design internship now I feel like I have a lot of skills um, to show for it. Doing this internship made me feel like a part of the community. I really wanted to do my part in this community anyway. Through this internship and my interviews I could really see how different people from different backgrounds could take glass courses and they all benefited some way from it. There was always some sort of connection that they could draw from it. Like if there was anything I wanted to let people know about glass courses is that like you're not necessarily going into um, these courses just to learn about Asians. But you also learn a little bit about yourself and how you view other people and how the world you live in impacts these communities. All of the course materials are definitely things that people can connect with and people can reflect on. But it really connects you with the Chicago community, which isn't something that you might be expecting. Not only are you learning about um, Asians around the world or Asians in the past or Asian Americans in the past, but you're also learning about the Asians that live here in Chicago. And some of the classes really bring you into the city to learn about the communities that we live around now and how um, certain situations are affecting them. Alright, so that is the end of my vlog, and if you have any questions about my artist-in-residence internship with the Global Asian Studies Department at UIC, just feel free to email me at hanarafi.art at gmail.com.